Hey everyone, it is Tanya. Today we are going to be making a composition size notebook um, journal. And I made one of these in for my Christmas journal. So, and I add, some people asked how I did it. So I'm just measure, I'm just showing you the measurements, and the measurements are seven and one fourth by nine and three fourth. And this is what we are going to make. Okay guys, so we're gonna get started and I am showing you my new kit called Mushroom Madness. And the reason why I'm showing this to you is because I am going to use some of the papers as my color inspiration for the cover because this is going to be a journal, kind of like nature mushroomy. So I wanted to use some of the papers that I will be using. Um, as my inspiration and those are the two that I am picking for my color inspiration and so what you're gonna need is you're gonna need a file folder and these file folders are like lightweight really lightweight I think a 110 pound cardstock is heavier than the um, file folder that I'm using so um, all I'm doing now is showing you how thin it is and I am going to take my composition notebook and your composition notebook, um, a standard size one is seven and one fourth by nine and three fourth. So I am just lining it up to the edge and I am just gonna trace it. That's all I'm gonna do. Um, and if you don't have the, um, if you don't have a composition notebook to trace, you can always just use the size. So I'm gonna take it to my cutting board and I am going to um, cut it, but I already have some cut out <laughs> for you guys. And then I just use my um, inch corner chomper to chomp the corners. Okay, and so then you're going to need some fabric. And this is my fabric. And I picked fabric pieces that kind of inspired um, nature and kind of matched the papers that I pulled out. Um, so I have a lot of different textures, um, pieces of quarters. I don't know, I didn't use all of them, but I prefer to have more than less, <laughs> if that makes sense. So um, um, guys, I'm sorry if I sound stuffy. I am just getting over the flu. So um, yeah, and it's kind of lingering. So um, I apologize for that. So what I'm gonna do now is I am deciding which piece I want on my spine. And I definitely want this piece on my spine. I think that it is really pretty and I love it. So I'm gonna cut it at three inches because my spine is gonna be two inches. Now you can make your spine as big as you want, but just make sure that you cut more so if your if your if your um, spine is two inches, make sure that you cut your fabric at three inches so that um, you have more than enough to wrap. Okay, so that's what I'm doing, and I'm not using my rotary cutter or anything. I'm just using my scissors, and I did cut it cricket, but that doesn't matter because I had more than enough fabric. So I am going to cut this, and then I'm going to set this aside. Um. I'm going to set this piece aside so that um, I can use that for my spine and I'm going to put the other piece over into my pile that I'm going to use for my cover just to give it like so it can match you know what I'm saying okay guys so now I am taking my cotton batten and this is a hundred percent cotton batten and I got it from Walmart um, and I know probably any fabric store carries it. So all I'm using is my beacon glue and the file folder as my template. I'm gonna put glue all over the file folder and use it as a template. And then I'm gonna cut another little section um, for my spine piece. So I'm gonna put those together and I'm gonna set those aside. So that goes for my spine. And then I am just gonna glue it down and cut around. Okay guys, now that I have my batting, I'm just gonna be piecing my fabric together. And all um, my advice to you on this part is cover all your raw edges, like I'm showing you right here. Um, it makes it so much easier. So make sure that your fabric pieces are big enough to cover all the edges, you know, so. Um, and then at the angles or at the, yeah, you just wanna make a crescent shape and then make slits so that it folds nicely around in a corner, like, you know, in a corner shape. So um, that's it guys. I am just piecing the fabric together and I know it's very patterny, but um, 
I think that all the patterns go well because um, they all have the same kind of color palette. So um, I think that was a big help with this. Um, I kind of wanted it to look very rustic. Um, so I chose a lot of different <laughs> patterns, but I think they all work so well together. Um, you guys got to tell me what you think about it. Okay guys, I'm going to take my beacon glue and I'm going to glue everything down, but um, before I do that, I'm going to take my shears and I'm going to cut around each shape with that so that it'll look like a patchwork. And so I'm going to show you what I end up really coming up with. I changed the layout a little bit like that. So this is the layout that I came up with and now I'm going to take it to my sewing machine and I'm going to sew around each square and yeah. Okay guys, so I have sewed all my patches down and I didn't sew around the whole journal just yet. I'm gonna leave that for last. Um, so I think they turned out really well. I think everything looks really nice. So I am going to use some vintage papers, um, scraps, and I'm gonna make a paper collage on the cover. You do not have to do this part if you don't want to, but I just thought it would look really nice and I need to do something a little bit different. So um, I am just adding vintage pieces um, to the cover and I picked things that would match the fabric that I picked out. Um, and I think I did okay. You know, I'm still getting my uh, legs when it comes to um collaging but you know i think i'm doing okay as long as i collage in the color i'm okay in a color scheme i'm doing good you know um, when i collage outside of the color scheme yeah your girl don't do so well but um i decided i needed buttons so um i used three buttons just because um i decided to go with green two green and one brown Green is my favorite color, so I just thought it looked good. And um, I love how it turned out in the end. I sewed around the cover and sewed all of my pieces down, and I even sewed on my buttons. So everything is sewed down. I took my sewing machine and ran around both cover pieces. And so we're gonna make the spine now, and you only need one side of the file folder and I'm using the exact same weight file folder um, that is 110 pound weight cardstock it does not have to be brown I just picked up whatever I had I am going to use one side of the file folder um, um, okay so we are going to measure um, two inches for our spine piece and I am just taking my ruler and I am marking off two inches okay once I have the width of my spine I'm going to do the length and I measured um, using my uh, cover and I just measured my spine piece the length of my cover but um, when I did that it came out to be 9 and 11 16th of an inch so right above 9 and 3 fourth of an inch so all I'm going to do is measure it down and um, I'm going to mark it on the file folder and once I do that, I'm going to take it to my paper trimmer and I'm going to cut the piece out. Okay, so now that my spine piece is cut out, I am going to take my cardstock and I am going to lay my spine piece on top of my cardstock. And um, I am going to take it and I'm going to trace around my spine. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to trace around. So I am, once I trace around it, then I'm going to take my ruler and on either side of the piece that I traced, I'm gonna measure two inches, two inches on the left and two inches on the right. Then I'm gonna cut out all the paper that I don't need. So I'm gonna take it to my paper trimmer and I'm gonna cut around what I marked. So once we have everything cut out, then we're gonna take it to our scoreboard and I am just scoring the line that I made. Um, I'm not scoring any other line, just the line that I traced for my spine.
Then once I um, finish doing that, I am going to take that spine piece that I scored, I am going to score one fourth inch away from that spine piece on either side. So I'm just folding it so I can see my, my, my lines clearly and see as you can do it, I'm just taking it and I'm putting it so I can have one fourth inch away from the spine. And I'm just showing you guys that is one fourth of an inch away. And I am just going to um, score it. And I'm going to do it to the other side as well. And I'm sorry about the camera shaking. Um, for some reason, my camera is up against my table um, this time. So I am going to just do it on both sides. And so what I like to do um, once I have that score mark, I like to fold my paper down and then the score mark that I just made, I like to fold that again. So I'm gonna fold that and fold the other line too. So we're gonna fold it back on itself, just like that. And you get a little like step. It makes this like little step. So I'm gonna do the exact same thing to the other side too. I'm gonna to fold it back on itself and the reason why I do this is because it gives um, a nice gusset in between your spine and your book cover. So it tends to lay flatter when you do it like this, but um, you don't have to do it like this, but I do it like this so I won't have so, you know, so it won't be an alligator mouth. So um, I am just measuring to make sure all my pieces fit. Um, I do that several times before I actually put everything together. So that is what I'm doing. And now I'm going to take some fabric, some coordinating fabric. And I'm going to take this yellow check fabric and I'm going to glue it on this, the cardstock spine piece. Okay. But I'm going to take it to my ironing board first and I'm going to iron it. And I'm going to come back and you'll see that it's flat and I'm going to glue everything down. Okay, so now that my fabric is flattened, <laughs> I'm going to take my glue and I am going to glue everything down. I'm going to glue, make sure you glue into that crease really good because you want this fabric to really adhere to the paper. So I am just gluing it and making sure everything is folded over. And I know that my fabric is not as wide as my paper and that's okay. Okay, so now that my um, fabric is all glued down, I am just going to take my scissors and cut off some of the excess um, where the fabric didn't quite cover the paper. And um, then I'm going to take my cover and I'm just going to make sure everything is even and everything measures right. And I'm going to take my um, spine piece and I'm going to cover that with batting. And I'm just using my baking glue and going to cover it with um, glue and then I'm going to cover it with the batting and then the piece that I had the um, fabric piece that I had for my spine I am going to cover that as well so I'm just trimming um, it to fit and then I'm going to take my fabric piece and I am going to lay that on top of my batting and I am going to wrap everything around
Okay, so we are finished wrapping our spine. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the floral spine piece and I am gonna glue it to the yellow spine piece. And um, I'm just making sure everything fits like I want it to fit before I glue everything down. Um, so once I glue everything down, then I'm gonna take it to my sewing machine, but I'm gonna glue everything down first. So I am just gluing everything down um, double check before you glue everything down like I did and you should be good. Okay, so everything is glued down and it is ready to be sewn so when I take it to my sewing machine I am going to sew the spine piece um and you see how when we did that extra gusset how it looks I love this guys so anyway um what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my um, sewing machine and I'm gonna go down each side of the spine and I'm gonna hit the floral and I'm gonna hit the um, checkered yellow checkered um down the spine and then i'm going to take it and i'm going to sew on the edge all the way around my um journal cover and i will come back and show you exactly what it looks like and i'm just showing you right now how i'm going to take the sewing machine and you know stitch okay guys this is the finished product i love how it turned out um it just I don't know it just looks so cool I think it it just has all the colors of nature I think it's gonna go perfect with the um, papers that I'm gonna use with it and um, just the idea that I have to um, put papers in the side so I just love how it turned out um, let me know what you guys think I know it was a little bit labor-intensive but I mean is so worth it and you can make this in any size you want to um, I just love how it looks in the big size uh, it's just so cool so uh, God bless guys bye